Hey everyone, Jeff Sire from The Practical Drummer here, and I'm still on a semi-sabbatical with a broken pinky, so I can't play with my left hand uh, for another couple weeks. But this has given me an opportunity to look at playing with the right hand in creative ways to try to, as I showed in the last video, try to sound like I have two hands, right? So that's the challenge. And so I've come up with a couple things today that... Uh, you know, a couple tips and strategies that are actually really helpful to learn with the right hand or the left hand. Uh, but in this case, it's my right hand because that's all I have to play with. Uh, so I started playing a, um, first of all, I wanted to show you a little bit of independence of the bass drum. I've shown you, I showed you this uh, months ago in a video, but it's really struck out, struck out for me now with one hand where I'm going to play triple strokes and then four, four. So one e and two e and three e and four e and a one e and two e and three e and a four e and a right. So I'm not playing any does. It's one e and two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a. So it's a triple stroke, right? Okay, three notes. So three out of the sixteen notes out of the four sixteen notes in each measure. So I'm going to play the left foot on an and one e and two e and three e and four e and. Okay. So that ostinato, again, I don't have a left hand, I'm going to put it behind my back. Uh, I'm going to try to get creative with the bass drum. So uh, first I'm going to play quarter notes, then I'm going to try all the E's, then the ands, the does, then go to two note groupings, one E, and then E and, then and, duh, and then duh, downbeat. And then I'll try some polyrhythmic stuff. Uh, and then I'll kind of explain what I've done. Okay, so here's the ostinato, one E and, I'll do two measures each. Okay, so that was one note groupings, okay, so I, I hit every 16th note. Two measures of the downbeat, two measures of the E's, two measures of the ands, and two measures of the does, right? The E's are the hardest one because it's one, it's one E and, it's, so it's in the middle of the two. One E and, right? And I do a push-pull method, push-pull, see that, it's push first, and then pull. two bounces. So it's, that's where the bass drum lies, one E and. So it's on that first pull, right? Push, pull, pull, okay? So once you kind of break it down, you understand how to do triple strokes, it'll naturally happen for you uh, by trial and error. You gotta practice it. But I'll go to two note groupings now. One and two and three and four and So I'm focusing on both notes of the bass drum sounding the same. The first, uh, first couple beats, uh, was the, the, the second note can be, uh, can be prone to being a little lighter, right? Because we're dominant on the first hit. You know, it's hard to keep that, that both notes the same. And it's kind, of a, it's kind of a bounce to the pedal, right? So especially as you get faster. You want to try to really make that, like the double strokes, when you do just double strokes with your hand, uh, you want to make that as loud as the first note. So the first and second notes, right? So I went one E, and then E and, then and, duh, and then duh, downbeat. Okay, now I'm going to do a polyrhythm, four over three. So um, one and, a three, and a three, and a four. To the polyrhythm. Two, three, four. Okay, so kind of trying to get now a little bit of independence. Uh, I will now do a double. I'll start, you know, doing doubles now. So instead of, I'll go, okay. Okay, 
Okay, so this is going to help your independence. I'll show you one more. Uh, we'll go just the, we'll do five. So uh, one and two and the three and four. Okay. Oh, my bass drum head just broke. How about that? <laughs> That's awesome. So uh, try those out. I got to change my bass drum head now, but uh, it's the real world of practice, right? Uh, you got enough to go on now, and I'll show you next time uh, a groove I came up with that, and I'll use my I have a I have a left pedal here, so I'll use that as my as my bass drum. Kind of, um, it's this kind of flavor with one hand. So I'll show you some different tips, like hitting two drums or two cymbals. Right, that sound like I've got two hands going on. So again, it's not rocket science, but it's just little ticks, trips, uh, tricks and tips you can use to uh, augment your playing. Even when you have two hands, you can do these things, and now you sound even uh, uh, even like a better player. So. Uh, I've had to get creative, obviously, with my, my broken pinky. So uh, I'm going to change the bed, bass drum head up, and then I'll get on another video and show you a uh, groove and a couple other tips. Take care.